to Raw Talks TV. I'm your host, Lenore, and here is where the people connect to the story. You guys, so literally, I had a whole going away party before I even left LA. So take a glance at my memories before I actually get into the journey. It's definitely a video. <laughs> I didn't realize that after you were speaking. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it's rolling. <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, hey. Brittany send off hike was be brutal, but this feels so great. <laughs> <laughs> so guys it is july 13th and i am officially leaving california it is time to go i am so elated and scared as crap like literally walking in faith is crazy but i just be like <gasps> And then just feel like I just jumped off a cliff or something. But I've been in L.A. for a total of three years. Um, I was here for a year. Then I left. And then I came back for two years. And it has been a roller coaster. But I gave L.A. the best of me that I could give it. But I know it'd be coming back and making money moves. So, okay, we not done as far as business concerned. But as far as life and opportunity and new endeavors and new people and new assignments new assignments new blessings new territory like i'm here new growth new lessons i'm here for it okay guys it is rest stop number one of my road to dallas um we drove i didn't drive anything my sister drove maybe like seven hours so First stop, tomorrow, the rest of the trip. Checking back in a little later. Bye, guys. Gratitude is a must, yeah. Let's get strong on the right time, yeah. Oh, my God. I made it to Dallas. I have not made it to my apartment yet. We are about to go and get the keys. I definitely was super nervous today um, when I woke up. I had to drop a lot of bombs in our good um, bathroom. But it's happening. I'm here. Um, so, yeah, I'll check back in in a little bit. Hey, guys. So, I am so sorry literally get to dallas got in my apartment and was just in awe of like actually being in my space so those of you all who don't know i have been in roommate ships since 2014 like i haven't had my own since i graduated from grad school like i've been living with a lot of different people including you know living back home or whatever so now being back into this space in my own is like what y'all i've been through hell and back literally but god has covered me he has graced me and i am grateful so literally came in went to go check in get my keys um just get everything explained to me regarding my apartment then i came to my apartment we let me and my sister literally unpacked everything um and put everything where just in the living room then we went shopping we got some of my basic uh necessities to be able to live and cook um here in the apartment until i get everything that i want which is gonna take you know some time because there are specific things that i want in my home that me and god gotta kind of work out a little bit so that happened then I've been here for a few days, so I've literally been here for a week and a day as of right now. I moved here on January 15th 
on the day of my sister's birthday my sister was killed in 2006 in 2000 yeah 2006 so i told god when i was leaving la that i wanted to you know be able to live in my own place on my sister's birthday and literally god just showed up and showed out and then i was reminded like on my journey from la to dallas that when i was in cali out of all the places that i live majority of those places i had to be out of my apartment by the 15th of whatever month that was i was always getting kicked out of somewhere or you gotta go you know what i mean and i never really realized that the number 15 as a part of my journey in la i always was getting kicked out of somewhere so it just it was mind-boggling to me that God wanted to restore even that date. And even just because of like, you know, it's been my sister's birthday, you know, she, she's, she's not here with me anymore. And just like having a new love for the date. Like, dang, I started my new journey in Dallas, Texas. Um, but those of you all who have not watched the first videos, um, part one and part, part two about my faith journey to Dallas back in January of 2020, you can go see those previous videos right here on Raw Talks TV. I really encourage you guys to watch the journey. Um, and Raw Talks is basically everything with having to do with my journey, my vlogs, my life, you know, stories of other people, but my own personal story, my own personal journey that I want to share with other people. Um, and just making it tangible that you can see I'm documenting these things so that you can see and have faith for yourself. But... Is that all I want to say? I think that's all I want to say right now. I need to debate if I want to show you guys my house. I think I might. So, you guys, literally, that was my apartment. I know it really, really fast, but I am so blessed and so honored. Just know that what I'm paying for this price is what I was paying for a room in L.A., and it's so much more space. Um, I love everything. And I think I'm going to do another video of just showing you guys like what I wrote on a piece of paper and what I asked God for and how he answered because God is in the details. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and share and subscribe to this video. Turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on anything. You can follow me on IG Eleanor the Light and Raw Talks TV, as well as follow our podcast. All the links to all my information is below. And thank you so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See you guys later.